Are you ready to step up your game in 2022 by creating a live MLS feed directly to a catalog in Facebook for advertising? If you think about it, running ads in Facebook as a realtor can be challenging in this market that we're in. You put a beautiful ad up on a just listed to be able to attract those buyers to your CRM. However, that house sold in 24 or 48 hours or went under contract, or maybe there was a price change. Unless you're constantly on top of those ads making those changes yourself, you're gonna look outdated as a realtor because the buyers are missing out on these houses. Having a direct live connection will ensure that the data is accurate, and more importantly, as new houses are hitting the market each week, your advertising and your ads are always gonna show a fresh set of houses that these buyers can navigate through bringing you leads on a weekly basis as a realtor. Hello, I am Smarty, welcome to my channel. This is a continuation video, the one that I did in 2020. You see, Facebook is always changing, including their name, they're now called Meta. The catalog manager in Facebook has had a massive rehaul in the last couple months. So in this video, I'm gonna show exactly how to set up the catalog and set up the connection to the MLS using KV Core as my example, so that KV Core will feed houses directly into the catalog. And I'll do a quick uh, demo of how to create a, an ad set uh, of a list of houses um, so that you know how to create these little sets so you can start marketing them in your advertising activities. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's dive in and let me show you the new catalog manager in the Meta platform. Okay, we're gonna start out here on the Facebook Business Manager page and we're gonna set up a brand new catalog. And then we'll head over to KV Core. I'll show you where to get your Zapier key to complete the integration. And then finally, I'll show you how to create a set of houses that can be used inside your advertising efforts. So let's get busy. What I want you to do is go to uh, business.facebook.com and when you come into the account, it may look like this. You're gonna hit the gear and go to your business settings. From the business settings, I need you to come down to data sources and there's catalogs. And if you don't have a catalog yet, we're gonna add one. That's what I'm gonna be doing with this account here. If you hit the blue button add, if you already have a catalog, maybe somewhere else on your personal page or something that you've set up, you can request access to it and bring it in or you can create a new catalog right here. You're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call it Fleming Listings. Uh, and then the key here is the drop down. You wanna make sure that you pick home listings right here. So Facebook knows it's houses that you're putting in the catalog. I hit create catalog. The next uh, section is gonna identify who has access to the catalog. So I'll give both uh, members access. And then my listing catalog is set up. So now we're ready to start the integration work to get it set up and the schedule about how to feed the catalog. What you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here to the top to say open in Commerce Manager. In the Commerce Manager, uh, you'll see that we have uh, the ability to do bulk uploads. Uh, we have our catalog and we could add items here and then manage the data sources. And then you have a menu over here that I'll be covering in a little bit. So let's go ahead and add some items to the catalog. Uh, when this first comes up, uh, it's going to be talking about a spreadsheet to do the upload. Um, and this is where some of the interfaces changed from the last time I did this video in 2020. Um, basically, uh, one of the capabilities, and I have another video on my uh, channel here that you can search. I'll put a link up here where I use a spreadsheet to load houses into the catalog. That still applies. So if you have new construction in your area that may not be built on the MLS, you can create a list of new construction homes and bring them into the catalog to start showcasing them in advertising. What you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, go ahead and hit yes and hit next. And then this is where you have the option to either upload from a computer, use a URL or use a Google Sheet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this URL and I'm gonna paste the URL in here uh, that is gonna connect uh, my KV Core right to the catalog using a Zapier key to pull the data in. So let me jump over to KV Core. I'll show you where to get the, uh, the key. And then in the description here on the video, I put the actual URL format. All you need to do is get your Zapier key from your KV Core, paste it in, in the URL where I specify, and we're gonna paste it right here in the field and hit next. So let's jump over there and let me show you how that's done. 
So over here on KV Core, uh, the access your uh, Zapier key, you're going to come down here to the lead engine. And then over here, you'll see lead Dropbox. When you click on that, uh, up here, you'll have all your keys. So there's my uh, Zapier key right there. And I can hit the copy button to go ahead and copy it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to Commerce Manager and I'm going to paste the whole URL into the field. So let me grab the URL. So once I put in my username and password credentials for KV Core, you want to make sure you have those set up along with the URL. The last step we're going to do is we're going to tell Facebook how often we want the data feed to come into the catalog. Now as realtors, uh, daily is plenty enough. As you know, in this market, things can change. Houses hit the market each and every day. Price changes happen. Houses get sold regularly throughout the week. So don't do a weekly or an hourly. I suggest you do a daily. Uh, what I like to do is start my day with a fresh set of house updates. So I'm going to always do uh, 7 a.m. Uh, in my time zone, and then I'll hit next. It'll give you the details, and then you'll say save and upload the data. Now this may take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video here uh, as it's uh, doing the validation step, and then it's going to start uploading the home. So let's give this some time, and I'll be right back. So the import now is complete, our first scheduled run. And look, right from the MLS through KV Core, that integration has pulled in 306 houses into the catalog that we can now start marketing on the Facebook platform. As you can see here, it shows the results below. 306 were found, 306 were updated or added. So they will update themselves if anything changes overnight with those houses, if they have a price reduction or what have you. And there was no errors. So all is clear for me to go to the next phase and go over and take a look at these items and start creating sets. Okay, now that I have all the homes in the catalog, let me show you how to access those homes and now put together sets that you could use in your advertising activities. So on the left-hand navigation, you have the items. They are the actual houses themselves. So with each house, uh, they're pulling in region, neighborhood, city, country, listing type, agent, beds and baths, and much more uh, inside of those filters. If I click on one of those, it'll just take me right to my KB Core uh, landing page for that house with all the details of that property. Um, so this is now ready to start putting into sets so that we can start um, running ads for certain types of listings that I wanna showcase. Now, as a best practice, with 306 in this uh, item list, and you may have, depends on your market, hundreds or thousands of houses in the marketplace, um, you don't wanna just do an ad against the entire catalog. So what Facebook allows us to do is to create what's called sets. And these sets will allow us to group these houses in logical order so that uh, we can showcase a certain number of houses at any given time. So in order to create a set, you're going to create uh, hit this create set button here. You're going to give it a name. So let's do a couple filters and then we'll figure out what our name is. Um, so as I look at the drop down here, these are all the fields that are in the catalog. So maybe I'm looking for houses in a certain neighborhood. So if I want to do in, in my neck of the woods, um, I have uh, Glenside is a popular area. I may want to um, showcase homes in Glenside. So uh, I could put in Glenside if I know them or Bywood or uh, Germantown is another popular area. Now uh, in here, I could call this my uh, Germantown homes um, uh, listing set. I'll just call it listings and hit create. So now in this set, I only have eight homes I'm going to showcase in the Germantown area. Uh, I can go and create other types of sets. So I can maybe do a, a list of homes maybe by price point. So I could say where price is less than or equal to, let's say, $150,000. Maybe I want to do uh, uh, you know, some starter homes for some buyers. Um, I can also do multiple filters. So in addition to $150,000 listings, maybe I want to again go back to neighborhoods or property type. Maybe I'm only looking for condos or townhouses. Let's just do condos over here and we'll call this the condos, condo under 150K. So I'll create my second set. And that's how easy it is within Facebook. So what you've just learned here is we've connected the MLS through a Zapier uh, integration layer 
to take all the houses that are up on the market and pull them into your catalog. And then we created sets that we're going to use inside the Facebook ad manager when we're running these ads. So have fun with these sets. Get this integration in place. And for the rest of the year and beyond, this is going to be a living, breathing catalog with every new house that hits the market will be in your catalog. Any price change will be in the catalog. And when these houses sell, as they are in this market, they'll come out of your catalog. So all your advertising is being maximized and being able to showcase homes for buyers throughout your market. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me some thumbs up, share the love across uh, YouTube world, not Facebook in this case, and uh, consider subscribing if you haven't. Uh, I enjoy having you here and I'm committed to having uh, you know videos every single week. So hit that bell so you get notified. Thanks.